Hey everyone, it's Deflating Atheism here, back with an actual Deflating Atheism video for the first time in a very long time. Now obviously most of my recent YouTube videos and my appearances on other people's YouTube channels have centered around politics, because politics has been what's been foremost on my mind, atheism not so much. But here I am dabbling my toes back in the water with sort of a lighter item and it's sort of old news but there's been a more recent update, so let's dive into it. It started when Neil deGrasse Tyson tweeted, The good thing about science is that it's true, whether or not you believe in it. In response, the social media account of Steakum, Yes Steakum, the sliced beef product, tweeted, Log off, bro. Now, I don't do the whole Twitter thing, but by complete coincidence, I just so happened to see Tyson's tweet when I was browsing a website that aggregated the most popular tweets of the day. When I saw this tweet, I wasn't struck by how insipid it was, because I was struck by how insipid it was years and years and years prior, the first time I saw Tyson say the exact same thing. Instead, I was struck by how this hack hasn't updated his shtick in the last decade. He's still out there tossing red meat, or beef sheets if you will, to his army of fedora loyalists, and I'm not sure that army of fedora loyalists is what it used to be. Stakem followed up with this. Science itself isn't true, it's a constantly refining process used to uncover truths based in material reality, and that process is still full of mistakes. Neil just posts ridiculous sound bites like this for clout, and he has no respect for epistemology. In other words, science is a method of investigation, it's not a belief or a belief system to be evaluated as true or false. Now this method of investigation produces claims about the natural world which may be true or may be false, but Neil doesn't even seem to admit the latter possibility. Instead, Neil seems to be making the completely banal observation that true scientific claims are true whether or not a person believes them, which is what Daniel Dennett would call a deepity. Any true claim is true whether or not a person believes it. Now, anyone familiar with scientism recognizes the true implication of the claim. What Neil is saying is that, in science, unlike religion and philosophy, true claims are true whether or not a person believes them. This is a ridiculous straw man of religion and philosophy. No philosopher or theologian would allege that belief makes claims true. It shows just how philosophically and theologically illiterate Neil deGrasse Tyson has chosen to remain. Now, the Stakem's interaction actually came up as a topic of discussion when he appeared in a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, and you'll never guess who came off as the exemplar of nuanced understanding. What did Stakem say? Do we know what no, they just said? they just scream say, "Oh, yeah!" And scientists said the world was flat, and or you know, before you know, Copernicus. Well, it was a little bit more articulate no, there than was, that. There was a total it's quite clever. There was a total body of attack. Yes. Regarding citing occasions when scientists have been wrong. Okay. Well, he's also explaining, clarifying what the actual scientific method is versus just a, a, a flat statement like science doesn't need you to believe it's true or however you phrased it. Well, I, I'm just saying that, yeah, so the Stakem one, there, there's some informed people there, I think. And they, and they... So Neil deGrasse Tyson completely failed to understand what Stakem's was saying and then went on to repeat the falsehood that people in the Middle Ages thought the earth was flat. This man is a complete fraud. He is historically as well as philosophically as well as theologically illiterate. He has been intellectually bested by a beef product and is more incurious and less dynamic than Joe Rogan. The fact that this man is held up as a role model for young people is a complete disgrace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.